Welcome back to the channel. This is Sai Vodka from Divine Tarot. This is going to be your pick a card reading based on uh, your spread. You're going to know more about your situation. Say, so suppose you're not so good terms, okay? Uh, you, we have three piles here. Whichever pile calls you, be it this color, this color, this color. This is purple, this is blue, this is green, okay? They are th three di different crystals, okay? So, whichever uh, like pulls you or, or whichever gets your attention, you go for it. You take your time you can pause the video and uh, like you can see like which one or which pile or which deck gets your attention if you do not go for your favorite color go for what your gut tells you okay so yes you can pause the video take 10 seconds 15 second break and see which one fits you best so directly moving on to your pile now let's see what's up pick this crystal What is happening? It's happening with your person situation. So yeah. Overall energy, we have temperance card. This connection in the past did seem like uh, you guys were on good terms. And out of nowhere, this person could have just gone cold on you. This person just ghosted you or they, they did something which hurt you really okay right now what's the energy like with ace of swords however i do feel like this person is open to communicating with you some of you guys might already be in communication terms in terms of what are their intentions towards you we have queen of pentacles this person does care a, a great deal about you know but this person might still have issues with having to express themselves completely with high priestess this person hasn't moved on from you they still have a lot of attachment or uh, they still feel very strongly about you in terms of their feelings ace of pentacles it's like they feel like they have missed an opportunity with you you did seem like someone who was honest someone who was loyal with ace of pentacles in the picture it's like they're choosing you for what you can possibly provide i think it's very practical choice and uh, yeah they want to rely on you yeah you know they they thought letting you down they are missing on a big opportunity and many many of you could be doing really good financially not just financially you do also bring in a lot of stability okay you have this weird push and pull connection with this person uh, with temperance card it is mutual to some extent but due to their secretive nature they have messed this connection up with you okay in terms of their heart space what do they have with you in terms of heart space we have three of cups I feel like you guys are very good friends, okay? From that, you felt you guys are almost soulmates. You guys did share a very close bond. Uh, you guys uh, were very close in terms of partnership, but it could have been a little sexual as well, but it never got to point B. It never got to more than that. They, ne they never expressed themselves. It almost seemed like a past life connection, but they never let it grow with you, you know? Or this person let you down, but now this person wants to come back. I do see a strong return within three months. Within that is right from November, December, Jan. I see this person trying to return to you because they know your worth, they know your value. Okay. In the past, why did they let you go? Or why did they possibly break your trust? What are the blockages? With Ace of Cups. They fell in love with someone else. They got attracted to someone else. Okay. I I do see a strong third party interference with Six of Wands. It was more of based on attention more of based on looks figure whatever you want to call it this could have been a long distance relationship with, it, with, with another person but they were very much involved what's the outcome of that situation now eight of swords they they find themselves stuck they are miserable i don't see that connection going forward and with three of wands, I do not see the other, the other person could have cheated. So what they did with you, they let you down. The same very thing happened with them. So the karma did return, you know. So they are also going through the same thing in terms of the intentions. Now let's see. With nine of swords, for now they are very much planning on getting back with you. What do they want to offer you this time? Two of Pentacles. They are not very sure as, as to what they can have with you, but they know for a fact that they can't juggle you anymore. They can't uh, just keep you around. They need to take you seriously. Okay. 
with seven of swords in the past and they were fooling you by keeping you around while they were messing with that other person but with four of swords even if they have intention of getting back they will take a lot of time just like i've told you they will take uh, somewhere between those three months to get back in terms of what are they looking forward five of cups you know many of them are coming back because they do not want to miss a chance with you they feel like you're something uh, they cannot have elsewhere and they would not want to lose that opportunity with you okay but are they coming back for the right reasons or this just coming back because you offer so much i think they are very selfish with their approach with you Yeah, for many of you this person is only coming back because uh, they know your value but they are not coming back because they are madly in love with you or madly obsessed with you you know they are coming back for what you provide to them and, and it is very very selfish with ten of swords this person is coming back for what you bring to the table what you uh you know possibly make them feel like what you can provide yeah it's it's highly selfish i don't think they're coming back because they love you they're coming back because they get so much from you and they are not wanting to lose that with the lovers card here this person for many of you will not choose you completely you, you can make them feel secure you can make them uh feel like uh, they can have a life they they can have a future many of the uh, partners nowadays are choosing people just based on what they can provide be it finances be it a home be it a future it is more like an arranged setup but Nowadays, it is more people of, just choose for what business. you can provide you know that's the common trend they are choosing millionaires billionaires not because they love them because of what they can provide and likewise with your situation they are only choosing you because of what you can provide be it that financial Availability, security be it that emotional you know like of giving you know? them that security uh, being that loving support and presence in their life what's the outcome going to look like we have judgment we have wheel of fortune we have sun in the reverse i think it's best if you neglect this person because this person is coming back for selfish reasons i do not see them coming back for the right reasons they're coming back to rather use you or rather to exploit you rather to just have you around okay this person has high chances of cheating you in the future it's like they're going to commit to you but they also want to keep the options open i hope you uh, you know what i'm talking about okay wrong way this think this through you've been warned just like i've told you the the cars uh, relate that this person is is very much messed up one side it pushed too hard you got something better coming uh, this person is not very much in love with you they are, they are in love with what you can provide okay trying to find you in someone else they were trying to find you in someone else but that wasn't uh, you know going anyway karmic blockage is lessons this is very much a lesson for you they want to keep you around okay and that's the problem you have, you have to teach you a much needed lesson don't repeat cycles as the final message here so yes all those who pick this pile be very fucking careful you are warned okay i i don't mean to give you such readings it is when such readings come i have to tell you the outcome and some people get pissed off oh my god why is this reading so dark, negative so dark it's not dark it's not negative it is what it is if you if you're freaked out by the outcome that means you're clearly triggered if it doesn't relate to you it doesn't relate to you don't take it personally but if if it triggers you if it pisses you off to a point that you're wanting to reply that that, that means you are going through the situation but you don't want to hear it okay it's it's just like you're lying to your own self you know speaking shit uh, about me or commenting shit on this channel would do nothing to you okay it's just going to speak more about you than me okay so yes that is all i'm going to say however do like and the video if it resonates next subscribe and if you want a personal reading you can reach out via etsy see ya so all those who have picked this file okay we will choose this crystal let's see what's up we have the death card for many of you you have been going through an ending okay you definitely have feeling for them but this connection seems to be not going in the right direction all thinking about you for many of you this person 
was exploiting you emotionally they were rather you know gaining a lot from you but not giving you anything you are dealing with a selfish person okay in terms of the energy towards you we have queen of wands sexually they still miss you in terms of emotions we have knight the head of end here I believe, darling, for many of you, in the past, this connection ended because it seemed one-sided. You left this person, you ended the connection. They they could have left you for someone else, but once they left it, they realized what they lost. With uh, the Queen of Wands, it was mostly sexual from their end, but now they realize what they had with you with the Hierophant card. They also also learned a lot through you by being a part of this connection. Okay, what else do we have? We have the Knight of Wands. What does the Knight of Wands have to say? This person was in and out of your life. They they had a major player energy. Okay. With the mention card, they seemed to be telling you shit, which was not true. Like they give you a lot of bullshit. Okay. With the Moon card, this person could not be trusted for the way they behave, the way they, uh, you know, um. You know, were living their life. Okay, so in terms of their major emotions for you, many of you guys were dealing with a player. Okay, emotions we have the devil, so it's still a lot of obsession, which is mostly sexual attraction, attachment. Okay, the push pull trigger goes on. For ten of pentacles, please clarify the ten of pentacles for me. Two of Cups, but now I do see them coming back for the right reasons. This pile seems to be going in the right direction. It's like in the past they fucked you over, so. But now I see this person coming back for the right reason. With the High Priestess, this person has realized what it was with you. Okay, what else do we have? Six of Wands. For many of you, within a span of six weeks, this person will give you attention. Right now, there might be complete silence that's going on. Okay. For many, many of you, you feel like this person is living a better life. Even after putting you through shit, this person is still living a good life. For many of you, this person could have been dating someone else after leaving you. After you, you go, you got to know about this person's intentions. You could have left them or ghosted them. But once they let go of this situation, they they were in another relationship. They have a pattern where after leaving someone. They jump into another connection. They are never uh, using that time to heal. They they rather want to do someone else. Okay, so that was exactly what was going on. And for many of you, this person had someone else. But once they realize what they had with you, I do have a very strong feeling that they they have changed to a point that they're coming back for the right reasons. Okay, in terms of their major feelings for you. We have six of cups. They do consider you a soulmate. Okay, for many of you, this could have been a Pisces or a Scorpio. Some of you, it it could have been a Capricorn. Okay, some of you, it it could have been an Aries as well. Okay, uh, but whatever the sign may be, the person was never emotionally available. They behaved like. Uh, they were in love with you, but never showed it out loud. Never expressed that. Never made you feel uh, loved. You know, they were all uh, very sweet. And ev every time you want, you wanted to let them go, they 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 tried to do something that got your attention. Okay, and you want you always gave them another chance. That another chance led to a lot of time being wasted. Okay, but know that we don't go through uh, relationships just for the sake of it. We all, we only go through pe situations. We only meet people for a reason. You are never going to meet someone just for the sake of it. You are never going to come across my channel for the sake of it. God doesn't want you to waste time. You like universe doesn't want you to waste time. You do have a limited time on this earth, and you have to spend it in a certain way. And everything is mostly connected. Okay, what else do we have in terms of the intentions towards you now? We have Queen of Pentacles. This person does want to come forward and express uh, the connection that they have with you, the relationship that they want with you. Okay. But with Hanged Man, this person is still not sure as to how to express their feelings. This person is wanting to be a part of you, but do not know how to do it. They do not know how to express themselves. They do not know what to do about it. With Six of Pentacles, it's still going to come off very much one-sided because they do not know how to express. 
I'm talking emotions. I'm, I'm not talking otherwise. Okay. If they're coming back, they will come back for the right reasons. For many of you, let's say the heart space, what do they truly have with you versus what they feel they have with you? Ace of Pentacles. I mean, they know your worth now. They they know your value. Okay. No one is going to come back just for the sake of it. Okay. With Ten of Swords, they know, know that they have hurt you. They know, know that they have cheat, cheated like cheated on you. They could have cheated on you. They could have uh, used you. They could have exploited you. Okay. In terms of what do they feel they have for you. With King of Swords, in the past, they, all, they always questioned their feelings. Okay. They thought that this was just an attachment with the Empress card. But now they realize it's more than that. It's like they grew on an emotional level, on a spiritual level when they were with you. Okay. And they never realized it because they were taking you for granted. But with Nine of Swords, they're going through a lot of uh, heartbreak. They're going through a lot of anxiety issues because they haven't moved on from you. They fear that you might have moved on to someone else. And that's the reason why if you chose this pile, they're going to be coming back within a span of six weeks. What else do you see happening? You have the strength card. This person could have literally exploited to you to a point where you lost confidence in yourself. Five of Pentacles. Right now, many, many of you guys are questioning your worth and value. Okay. The Emperor card, slowly but surely, I do see you getting back that control of your life. You don't have that willpower, that um, that confidence you once had, you once carried. Okay. For some of you, your finances also took a toll. Okay, like you went from being super successful to moderate success. Okay, if you guys are working, then that's different. But if you're into business, you 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 you, you did take a strong hit. Okay, so in terms of what do they want with you now? Knight of Swords, Two of Wands, Ace of Cups, King of Cups. For many of you, if they meet you, if they come across, if they message you, this person might come off cold and uh, still wishy-washy. But that's because they want to know where you, you stand, or what you up to, what you want. Okay, once you spend a couple of times, you go out on a couple, like, couple of dates, this person will make their intentions known to you. And they're coming back for Ace of Cups. That is a relationship. If you pick this pile, know that your person is coming back for the right reasons. Okay, so where this is going for now? Three of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. For some of you, you could have, you could be dating someone who was a year or three years younger to you, but with the Star card, this connection definitely changed you. Okay, you are not the person that you were once. Okay, and with Four of Wands, you're potentially dealing with a twin flame. Okay, some of you could be Libras watching this video. Okay, with Page of Pentacles, this this person never gave you anything in the past okay they, but now they're going to come back and they're going to come back clean they're going to come back for the right reasons they're going to come back to fix the relationship and they're going to come back to celebrate this connection with you okay there are a lot many comebacks here okay so in terms of blockages what do we have blockages we have chariot card this person could have been living at a distance with eight of pentacles they are overly involved with their finances with their work life with temperance card they thought that they were above you they thought that they were they basically looked down at you and lack of respect spoiled it further behave in a certain way some of them could have been very beautiful and and they had that you know, you know they can choose whosoever they want a relationship meant nothing to them with the world card and with two of pentacles they could be having another option or they had another option okay and they also had plans of moving out to another country or state they had they had plans of being uh, financially successful over being uh, successful in terms of relationships. They never gave relationships to to fucks. I would say they were more of wanting to jump from people to people just to feel good, you know. And uh, they consider themselves successful only when they are financially well, well to do. Uh, they only accept themselves based on the success that they have got financially. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you. In terms of love messages. You have to teach you a much needed lesson. Don't repeat cycles. You could be wanting to just block this person off for what they have put you through. Okay. 
past we have looks down on you not equal lack of respect they did not they never respected you and they always looked down they could have always told you that you are not the types they usually date yeah you are different okay and not your person destiny is what you believed in so these are your cards okay moving on to them now you trigger them unexpected feelings you definitely trigger them into having those feelings with for you they never had the intentions to fall for you okay and in the past they they could have come off in a certain way but now they have changed okay so what do we have moving on full regret for sabotaging the connection okay uh what is another message that we have in the past we have using you in the reverse okay they were using you i have i've told you that okay they feel a very strong irresistible connection with you soul connection and universe intervention was sent with a task either to break you or distract healing even though they might have taken a lot of time from you they did provide unintentionally they did make you feel in a certain way but they also broke you to make you again okay they only come back for benefits and th that was the pattern they all they, all, they always came back for benefits okay they love uh, they feel love for you but never believed it had the chance to succeed okay so that is all we have for pile number 2 if it resonated do hit the like button do let me know in the comment section if you are new to the channel do subscribe for more thank you so much moving next if you chose this pile this is your message so all that i need to know my dear friends Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. This connection never got to point B. You are always stuck with this person. You always felt miserable with this person, but never they never really gave you the chance to be a part of this connection. Okay, what else do we see? With Five of Cups, they did let you down more than one time. I would say they emotionally drained you. Okay, but what was this connection about? for many of you you did feel stuck some of uh, you could have been in a uh, connection with someone who's already married or you were married and you were in connection with someone else but you felt stuck and miserable with this individual you could not move on you could not set yourself free okay with page of pentacles this connection was not equal it was never balanced you were the giver they were the taker okay so on who exploited you in terms of their energy towards you now energy is emperor they are still not giving in they are still very much controlling uh, they 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 could be in a stable place in life and you are asking yourself as to how someone could put you through so much and still be living a good life okay but what they going through so if this person might be slightly elder to you okay by a couple of years here and this with the hanged man here this person is still wanting to hold on to wherever they are they have no intentions as of now to make that move back so many of you guys could still feel stuck as to why is that happening what's the blockage for some of you with the tower card they might be going through a breakup or a divorce but they are not in a happy place when it comes to wanting to be a part of relationships with two of pentacles they are definitely not doing well they could come off very detached uh, cold you know uh, sorted but they are not sorted okay what else do we see with the chariot in the reverse uh, this person for many of you was a part of a connection that seemed to be going no way okay so yes uh, in terms of the chariot in the reverse i also feel uh, like uh, right now uh, they could be at a distance from you or uh, they could be still going through a divorce this person hasn't uh, got that closure yet i don't see them coming back to you because they haven't sorted out the connection that they were part of okay in terms of how do they think about you death card they are still not ready for this connection with you we have the death card so they will not put in that changes in terms of their energy towards you with knight of cups they do think of you however you are on their mind okay what else do we see with the 10 of swords they feel like it is not the right time for them to return they know that they have done you wrong they have cheated on you and many of them do believe that they are uh, going through this shit personally because they have put you through so much okay in terms of their feelings for you 
wheel of fortune they they never felt very strong feelings for you in the past they were all over the place maybe they were entertaining too much okay but knight of pentacles it all it always seemed like they were in the connection just for stability just to have a companionship okay With stand in the reverse, I still believe this person is not ready for you. In terms of their heart space, what do they have for you? You have the magician card. Please explain the magician card. Ten of wands in the reverse. Six of pentacles. Trust me when I say this, this connection is not going to come together so soon. Okay, I'm really sorry to give you this news. This person is still going through too many ups and downs and I do not see this person coming back before March. Okay, they could be in a miserable state right now. Financially, they are not doing well. With my magician card, they do have plans of thinking about this connection. But they are still thinking. They haven't made any decision. Okay, in terms of their intentions towards you moving forward. King of Swords in the reverse. Nine of Pentacles. For now, they are not deciding on anything. So it would be wrong for me to, you know, uh, give you any false hope. Okay. If they come back, they're going to come back for healing. They're not going to come back because they love you, they miss you, they want you. No. They're going to come back for healing. It, it is a super uh, facial person, someone who uh, behaves in a certain way to just get your attention. Okay. So be very fucking careful. Okay. One more card in terms of the blockages the fool in the river this person does not want to risk at all with you they, they do not have what it takes to want to choose you want to be with you lack of respect lack of communication high priest is very very secretive had a lot of you know hidden stories going behind okay this person definitely has someone else in the picture but judgment card yes definitely this person had to let go of a relationship before they choose you and they are still very much stuck and miserable moving forward if, if they're going to come back why are they going to come, uh, come back to you and for what reasons four of wands justice please clarify ten of wands I believe if, if they come back, they're just going to come back to have a good time with you. I do not see them wanting to come back to you because of what uh, you make them feel. They're going to come back with a lot of baggage. I do not see you having uh, the energy to deal with that shit. They're going to come back for advice. They're going to come back for balance. They're going to come back for some healing, which you usually provide. With four of wands, they're going to pretend that they're dating you, but they, it's going to be superficial. It's, it's going to be selfish. Okay. In terms of where this is going for now. Seven of Wands in the reverse. But I do see them unblocking you. If they have blocked you, they are going to unblock you within a span of uh, seven weeks. That is all, almost two months. The Hierophant card, I do feel like this is more of like a lesson for you to cut off toxic shit from your life. Okay. In terms of why this connection never worked. Because this person was a narcissist. You are dealing with a potential narcissist. This is a narcissist spread. Okay, 10 of cups, they could have been already dating someone else who they were focused on or invested. With the hermit card in the reverse, they were not with you with the, for the right reasons. Six of wands and three of uh, wands and seven of They were never invested in you. I don't know if you still realize it. You were never with this person for the connection to bloom. The connection was never meant to bloom. It, it, it was meant to doom rather, you know. So with queen of pentacles, you met this person to know your worth to know your value, to not be a part of connection or not, not to expect something from someone who cannot give you anything. Okay, with Queen of Pentacles, you are definitely about them. You definitely have lots to offer. With Seven of Pentacles, this person never gave you anything and you still expected things from them. That is your own problem, right? You expect things from people who are not intentionally wanting want, want to do anything about you. Okay, with six of wands, it could have been based on lust. Your uh, with nine of swords, you were very much attached to this individual. With page of swords, you did stalk them a lot, but you got to get rid of that uh, toxic cycle that you are in right now. With four of swords, you got to give, give give yourself that break. Okay, and with sun card, you got to release yourself from this bullshit. Okay, 
in terms of love messages yes is the answer for, for many of you you are dealing with a possible narcissist compulsive liar manipulator narcissist opportunist holding a grudge against you won't budge unless you make the move for many of you unless you do the move they are not going to give in easily absolutely no reason to look back toxic okay don't focus on the outer you got a lot more to see and know not only done only started this person has put you through so much shit but if you're going to be part of it you're, you're, you're going to experience more okay take help from others okay this is a dead end you are focused on a wrong situation or a person so that is all i know you're going to not like this but darling depends okay some of you guys might have chosen a wrong pile if you chosen a wrong pile do not take it too personally if it resonated so far you are dealing with a potential narcissist and you got to get rid of it that's the lesson you cannot entertain a narcissist you cannot hope the narcissist is going to change for you if a person doesn't respect you they will never love you okay before love there should be respect you know respect doesn't come after love darling respect always comes before love if there's no respect there's nothing in this world okay that you could do or want so that is all from my side if it resonated i still expect a like from you i still expect a subscribe from you if you want a personal reading you got to know how i read i'm very straightforward i do not necessarily care to sugarcoat things okay i'm going to tell you what it uh you know you're going to necessarily and that's how i do it okay, that is all from my side if you chose this pile and this is what you're going through you got to get rid of this person you got to choose better you deserve better and you got to choose better okay there's no love with this weirdo okay that is all from my side thank you so much